I didn't see you there. I was just busy thinking about The Giver, the next Cedarville main stage production. You should come see it. So The Giver is a really cool story um, written by Lois Lowry in I think the late 90s. Um, and it's all about this, this boy who lives in this like utopian society. Like everything is perfect and pristine and everything is picked right the way it should be. And um, when he gets his new position, he finds out that there's something hidden underneath the community, that things aren't exactly as clear and perfect as they seem to be. So it's a story of kind of a coming of age, it's kind of dystopian. It's, it's all about finding your place and understanding the past and what it means. We were given our scripts uh, last spring, so we spent the whole summer kind of absorbing this story. We read The Giver and used that to kind of inform my characterization of the character, um, going over the lines for the script itself, absorbing the, the adaptation that the script is. So I was in the last play, The Beams Are Creaking, and that was kind of a transformative experience. I learned a lot about myself and about my passions, and so when I heard that they were doing the next one and I read the script for the first time, I actually cried the first time I read through the script. Um, and I was like, I have to be involved in this story somehow. I don't care how, but I want to be it. And so I auditioned, and then I'm here. What I've enjoyed most about acting is what I've enjoyed in life growing up, and that is I've always enjoyed entertaining people in any sort of way, whether that's cracking jokes or just being goofy or acting. Um, pulling someone out of the world that they're physically sitting in and into the world that they are seeing played out on a stage or on a screen. Every night from Monday to Thursday, 6.30 to 9.30, um, since school has started, we've met here. We're Alfred, we've worked on practicing, we've gone through things, we've worked on characters, on voices, on movement, on, on the feeling of the play, the internal like thoughts, like we've tried to go through everything. So it's, it's been a pretty big commitment. What's been challenging is taking what I perceive to be correct and unlearning things when Director Stratton decides that that's incorrect for her vision. Because ultimately, as the director, her job is to bring the story to life in the way that she reads it, in the way that she experiences it. It's been fascinating and eye-opening, and I think I've grown a lot in doing that as an actor. As of recording this, opening night is exactly a week away, and it's kind of terrifying, and it's kind of exciting, and I'm kind of nervous all at once. So there's a lot of work still to do, but it's going to be awesome. And I'm so excited for people to be able to see what we've done and like the work that's been put in, not just by us, but by all the crew people, by all the tech, and just everything is being worked on so hard to get us to next week, and it's just going to be great. I am confident that we will all do our best. I am confident that we will bring an enjoyable and thought-provoking performance to the stage, but I'm also nervous. <laughs> but I think that ultimately, uh, it's gonna be great. I think we're gonna be great. Please come see The Giver. <laughs>